So I prepared something, and this morning, around 12 noon, God gave me a word. Now, it's not a... I, I don't have a lot of time to teach tonight. I'll just briefly talk to you about it. I'll be done. I have just a few minutes. And this is the word of the Lord uh, for you, Kingswood Calgary. In fact, to all of us, that we need to de develop capacity to receive more. Somebody say, capacity to receive more. Oh, I wanted to say like you know it. Say like a preacher. Say capacity to receive more. You see, God always has more in store. If God does something, that's not the end. He always has more for his people. The Bible says God is the one that can do exceedingly, abundantly, far above all we can ask or think. He's able to do that. And when God does something for us, he always has more to give. But the challenge most times is, do we have capacity to receive? If you have a, if you have a container that has something and you want to pour it out, you look for a container that can receive what you want to pour out. Am I right? Or else it goes to waste. And sometimes, uh, because what we have is small, we can't receive the more that God has. Um, I have a 17-year-old and um, he started driving last year. And he takes my car. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and my car is gone. Okay? And so I have to use the other car. I, I wanted to buy him a car. And then we went. He said, Daddy, I found the car. So we went to a dealership and we saw it. I'm like, um, you've been using your faith, right? You got a controller. Okay, so use your faith for this. So in the meantime, while his faith is working, he uses my car. Hallelujah. But you know what? When he was 15, when he was 13, I didn't give him that car. In fact, if he entered that he wanted to drive that car, uh, it's, um, we, we will have a conference like how, why you shouldn't drive a car. Because he didn't have capacity for that level yet. Even though I would have loved him to do. And, and you know what? Some of the things that we want to give our children, we want them to do, we don't give to them. Why? Because they don't have capacity to receive it yet. But listen, once the capacity is there, we can receive what God has. The word of God to you, Kingsword Calgary, everybody here is this, develop capacity. And, and, and one, way that we're going, one way that we can have capacity to receive what God has, and this is the word God gives to me, is through prayer. Somebody say true prayer. Prayer gives us capacity to receive. Prayer increases our capacity to receive. Hallelujah. You know, in the book of, uh, the book of Jude chapter 1 verse 20, it says, But you below, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. There's a building up that happens when we pray. Now, there's a building up that happens as a result of the word. Acts 20, 32. I, I beseech you, uh, it talks about uh, that, that you build up yourself, uh, that you receive through the word. There's a building up that comes through the word. Acts 20, 32. But there's also a building up that comes through prayer. When we begin to pray, our capacity to receive expands. The Bible talks about Paul, Paul wrote, it says, Epaphras, who is one of you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers that you may stand complete. In fact, another translation says that you may stand mature, grounded, rooted, that you may be able to receive that which God has. In the place of prayer, we begin to develop capacity. God starts showing us pictures. Because once we see it on the outside, it's just a matter of time before it becomes manifestation on the outside. When we see it on our inside, you know that's why the Bible says, Habakkuk chapter, one, chapter 2 verse 1, it said, I will stand upon my watch to see what God will say to me. You don't see words, but he's saying, I will have, I will catch a vision of what God is saying when I pray. So I'm standing upon my watch to see what he will say. Do we see what people say? We hear, right? But he's saying that when we begin to pray and God begins to see and say, we start catching a picture of what God is saying. And we receive the picture on our inside. It's just a matter of time before we work it out. And so when we begin to pray, things begin to happen. Things begin to happen. Someone says, oh, um, I, I don't know what to do with my business. But listen, child of God, when you begin to pray, God begins to speak and you begin to see. He begins to speak to you and you begin to see. Oh, I don't know what to do about my ministry. God begins to speak and you begin to see. Capacity is being built on the inside because God wants to pour it out. But if the container that will receive it is small, then it can't contain it. But in the place of prayer, oh, the Bible says, as we behold in a glass the glory of God, we are being changed into the same image from glory to glory as by the Spirit of the Lord. Something starts happening on the inside when we begin to pray. Oh, thank God for confession. 
Thank God for confessing the word. And that has a place. But the apostle Paul says, <laughs> praying always with all prayers and supplication in the spirit, watching thereunto. There's a time that we stay in the place of prayer and we see, the Bible says, Elias was a man of like passions. He had other things. He had challenges. Sometimes he didn't want to pray. He had all of those things happen inside. But what? The Bible says, he prayed. In fact, you know what he said? He said, at my word, there will be no rain. It wasn't that God said to him, say that there will be no rain. No, he said, at my word, there will be no rain. And there was no rain. The Bible says, and he prayed again. And so we begin to develop capacity in the place of prayer. We start understanding the authority that belongs to us because we are children of God. We don't go around shaking, afraid. What would they do? No, we take charge. And we start dictating what happens because now in the place of prayer, understanding dawns, light comes. We begin to see as we behold in the glass the glory of the Lord, we are changed. There's a change that happens on the inside. My little children of whom I travel in bath again unto Christ be formed. There's a forming going on on the inside. There's something happening on the inside of us. As we begin to pray, as we begin to pray, we begin to take territories. We begin to ascend, going to higher levels, different levels, better levels. And then our capacity to handle increases. So instead of being saying, I'm overwhelmed, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's, a different, it's a different case. I know what to do. When something comes, I know what to do. Why? Because there's capacity on the inside. Listen, child of God, this is the word of the Lord to us. There's more. And I know we're enjoying this place, but there's more. Let me tell somebody, say, there's more. There's more people. There are more people to be reached. There are more lives to be touched. There are more businesses to be built. There are more careers to go to the ne next level. There are more marriages to be contracted. There are more homes to be built up. There are lives to be touched, transformed by the power of God. And God is saying we should step into it. You know, uh, a few weeks, I mean, a lot of us might not know this. Like, was it? I don't know when it was. Dr. K just called a pastor's meeting. He said, I was in Susu Place. God gave me a word. And we're starting a 30-day prayer. He said it today and we're starting tomorrow. And he said, oh, I'll be fasting for 30 days. So if you'd like to join me, join me. But I'm just saying we are everybody's fasting. And we didn't have to announce it. Why? Because God has more. Come, somebody say, God has more. And in this season, in King's Word Ministries, in the new, we're stepping into a season of more. It's a season of rain, actually. Hallelujah. Come on, say rain. So God is pouring out. And we are bringing big vessels. Not small vessels. Big vessels. To receive what God has. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you to stand up in the minute. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. The Bible says deep calls to deep. Hallelujah. And I want you to pray. This, this is a prayer we're going to pray. God, I step into more. I step into better. I step into greater. Greater levels of authority. Greater levels of manifestations. Greater levels of, of the revelations of God. My eyes are open to see. My heart is open to receive. In the name of Jesus, can we have the drums and everything? Let's pray. Will you lift your hand? Say with me. Say, say, let's say this. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare that my heart is open and my eyes are opened and I receive the reign of God in my life. I receive capacity for more. I step into new levels of authority, new levels of manifestation, new levels of revelation in the name of Jesus. I want us to begin to pray right now. And I want to pray fervently. I want to pray fervently tonight. Ya de 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 sha. Ya de de sha. La koshan de egadosa. Legodo bra andiaga shasha. Neketete lebra angadasha. The more that God has for me. The rain that God is pouring out. Ye de kashoto. On my marriage. On my home, on my career, in my business, in my finances, on my city, in the name of Jesus, Neko Shandia Gasoso, Made Calabre Ekadosha. I have capacity to receive Yede de Dado Sokoto Brahagadasha, Made de 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 Sha, Makelebra Antia Gado Sogodosha, Rade de 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 de. Yado Shande, Yade Shando, 
Yede kalaba, yede kalabre ekados, radia kasasa. In this conference, on this tonight, Friday, I mean Saturday and Sunday, I receive enhanced capacity, and I take what God has for me. I step into a rain. Yedo do do sa, yede de de sa, yede de 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 ga do 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 sa. Made mado masandiga yedo kosonde galabre ekadosha na do 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 sakatasa capacity for more capacity for more I receive the rain yede de 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 new levels of expression new levels of manifestation new levels yedo kosante agadasha na kete telebra na kashu shudu bre ekadosha. Rede de 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 sa rado shada na dia sa mateke lebra anda na soso ko shade ma shade de sa leko shada na dia I have cap oh shade de dia sa ye de 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 sa ze 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 sa Ra da 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 sa ya da 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 da. There's a rain of the spirit. There's a rain from heaven. There's a rain of God. Ye do 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 so 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 ya da 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 sa da 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 da. I receive. Coleman, come sing a song. It's time for the rain. 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 Go on, pray, pray in the spirit, church. Pray in the spirit, church. It's time for the rain. It's so so. The more I know you. Is the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. Yeah. I want more of you. Yeah. I want more of you. Everybody say the more more of you. Somebody say yeah. yeah. One more time, somebody sing it. I want more, more of you. Yeah, yeah. More of you, Jesus, more of you. 